Everyone wants to travel in style these days, and the demand for sleek and powerful vehicles has never been higher. That's why manufacturers are going all out to build the fastest, safest, and coolest possible machines for their customers. We've been keeping an eye on the best models, and that's what this list is all about. Here are 12 new vehicles that you will definitely want to ride. Number 12. First, say hello to the Helicat 22. This boat is a truly unique catamaran-class vessel. It's built for swift travel across all kinds of water bodies and will even carry you safely through the high tide. The vehicle is double-hulled and has a sleek helicopter-shaped body. We're pretty sure we don't need to explain why it's called the Helicat. In whitecap waves, the 22 can cruise at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. It will also net you some solid mileage with a fuel economy of 5 miles per gallon. That's right, this boat is ready to take you all the way. With its aerodynamic design and terrific gas consumption, the Helicat is perfect for a quick hop across the bay. And if it's the speed you're after, boats in this category don't get much faster. With the Helicat, you'll be able to make the most out of your trips across choppy waters. Number 11. Next, it's time to ride into the future. Engineer Zhu Lingyun is taking us into the future with the gyro car. It's a brilliant crossover between an electric car and a motorcycle. At about 3 meters long and 1 meter wide, the gyro is pretty compact. The small form factor lets it reach speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour. One charge on the battery gives you a range of 100 kilometers, so it's not ideal for long distance road trips. It's perfect for city commutes and short drives though. This energy saving ride has the interior of a luxury car and the agility of a motorbike. And get this, it offers drivers a choice between a traditional wheel and a joystick for steering. It also comes equipped with a touchscreen to connect with smartphones, monitor battery levels, and enable the autopilot. The whole deal will cost you around $16,000. That sounds like a pretty sweet deal to us. Number 10. Double the fun with half the wheels. Meet the Rhino one-wheeled motorcycle. This beauty is way easier to drive than you might think. It actually uses gyroscopes and accelerometers to ensure stability on the road. No need to worry about breaking a leg with this one. The Rhino makes the learning process much simpler, since you just have to lean in the direction you want to go. What's more, it can spin around 360 degrees on a vertical axis, so you can direct it basically anywhere. One thing to remember about the Rhino is that it's got a top speed of 10 miles per hour. This makes it street legal, but too slow for highways. If your city allows it though, you can just hop onto the pedestrian lanes and zip along those. So, if you're sick of getting stuck in traffic and want a motorbike that keeps you steady on the go, the Rhino is for you. Number 9. Let's wing it with the wingsuit. Nowadays, everyone's crazy about skydiving. It's probably the most popular extreme sport, and we get why. To tap into that craze, GoPro just came out with a new wingsuit that records your trips. The GoPro Fusion wingsuit basically allows skydivers to document their jumps in 360 degree videos. That's good news for the folks who have never been able to skydive because these videos are the next best thing. Celebrity diver Jeb Corliss even made a virtual reality video using the wingsuit and put it on the web. You can play that video on your device and experience the thrill of skydiving right from your living room. So if any of you want to skydive and make some insane videos of your adventures, look no further than the GoPro Fusion wingsuit. This thing will get you all the views in more ways than one. Number 8. Give yourself a whole new submarine experience. Swimming with the fishes has never been easier than with the Sea Breacher. This two-seat semi-submersible vehicle can be customized to look like a dolphin, shark, or any other aquatic animal. That's perfect for cruises under the sea. This watercraft is built for both freshwater and saltwater, giving you plenty of options. It can travel at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour on the surface and 25 miles per hour underwater thanks to its powerful Rotax engine. That's 300 horsepower under the hood. And if you want to channel your inner dolphin, the Sea Breacher gives you a whole new experience. It can dive 5 feet into the water for 30 seconds and then launch to 20 feet above sea level on its way out. With its watertight cockpit, you'll stay nice and dry through all the shenanigans. We definitely recommend giving the Sea Breacher a go. Number 7. You can be an eye in the sky. Next up on our list is a hovercraft. The amazing hoverbike Scorpion gives you a bird's eye view from the top. If you thought flying bikes were only something you'd see in Hollywood, think again. This vehicle flies like a hovercraft and controls like a bike. It can carry up to 104 kilograms and go as high as 33 feet. 
The Scorpion can reach a speed of 43 miles per hour and has a range of 13 miles. That's about 20 to 40 minutes of flying time on a single charge. Don't worry about recharging though. This hover bike's replaceable batteries just take three hours to top up. It's such a great deal that the Dubai police have gotten in on the action. They'll soon be seen riding scorpions over congested traffic lanes. So next time you visit the city, don't be surprised if you see a cop flying overhead. Number 6. Now let's go back to the basics with the Sitgo. The Sitgo is the world's first electric vehicle that you can charge using a car cigarette lighter socket. What's more, it's light and easy to carry, and you can fold it into way smaller form factor. The Sitgo also has a 36 volt power lithium battery that can run for 35 kilometers and push the bike to speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour. That's perfect for zooming through a park. The bike even comes with a USB port so you can keep your phone charged while on the go. The Sitgo is the perfect electric bike. Compact, fast, and eco-friendly. You can't go wrong with something that's this fun to use. Number 5. Go on a joyride with the Slingshot. The Polaris Slingshot is a three-wheeled open-air roadster. It's a powerhouse and a style icon. Seriously, roadsters don't get much classier than this. The Slingshot is registered in 44 states as an auto cycle, but you wouldn't know that just by seeing it. It looks a lot like a car and drives like a motorcycle. It has a tilt-adjustable steering wheel and adjacent bucket seats. What it doesn't have is a roof, doors, and side windows. The design is pretty stripped back. The whole package is powered by a ProStar 2.4-liter engine, which gives you two options. You can either go for the sportier 5-speed manual transmission or shift it into the automatic mode. So whether you're a manual enthusiast or just looking for an easy drive, the Slingshot has you covered. Number 4. Go from land to sea with the Quad Ski. If you're looking for a bike that can turn into a boat, check out the Gibbs Quad Ski. This vehicle mashes together two of the hottest vehicles in existence, the Quad Bike and the Jet Ski. Together, they form a hybrid machine that's the best of both worlds. The Quad Ski offers drivers the complete package, with a 15-gallon fuel tank and speeds of up to 45 miles per hour on both land and sea. Gibbs has kitted this thing out with a four-cylinder petrol engine that can deliver 140 horsepower. You've got to be careful handling the quad ski. It's not your average land sea vehicle. With its retractable wheels, the quad ski is a literal transformer. Not even the ocean can get in your way when you're behind this wheel. Number three, let the Jetman take you up and away. The Jetman is making everyone's jetpack dreams a reality. It's basically a one person flying craft that functions like a regular airplane. It actually takes off from the ground and the transitions into high altitude flights. Its two jet wings are made with carbon fiber and are powered by four mini-jet engines. Flyers take control of the jet wings to pilot themselves through the skies. You can hover, change direction, or perform loops once you're up there. What's more, you can fly for about 13 minutes and cover distances of up to 50 kilometers. That's not the craziest part though. The max speed possible with the Jetman is 400 kilometers per hour, while the highest possible altitude is 6,100 meters. Those numbers definitely aren't for everyone, but there's no better ride if you can stomach it. Number two, here's a ride straight out of Gotham. This vehicle is a 99% replica of the Batmobile seen in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. We recently got a look at it in a video by Supercar Blondie, and it looks epic. The specs are good enough to suit Bruce Wayne too. That's because this supercar has a Ford F-350 Raptor engine that can muster up to 700 horsepower. The vehicle also comes with two enormous rear wheels that weigh 2,200 pounds on their own. The body of the Batmobile is made up of carbon glass and carbon fiber, and it looks like it dropped right out of the movies. The coolest part about it though is that it spits flames through its exhaust whenever it's revved up. All in all, this is a contender for one of the coolest cars on planet Earth. Number 1. And finally, enjoy your very own private island experience on the go. The Chili Island is an awesome luxury boat that delivers on all the fun of being out on the water and skips on the chores. It's basically a high-tech sofa that can float on water. What sets it apart from other pool chairs though is its Torquedo electric motor. The Torquedo comes in both 0.5 kilowatts and 1 kilowatt variants and can provide up to 6 hours of runtime. That's more than enough for a party. The Chili Island can fit two people on board, and you can control the vehicle's speed and direction using the central trackball. The seats can even be used as slides if you want to dip into the water. It also comes equipped with a dual speaker sound system and cup holders. 
The whole package is perfect for couples who want to chill out on the water. Alright, which of these vehicles would you want to ride first? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to TechJoint, and we'll see you in the next one.